Your time now is 649 and this is your morning in eight minutes. It's a first alert weather day and let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley as she's been keeping track of all of this weather for us this morning. Heather. Hey guys, yeah, as we've been watching, even you can see a couple of flurries kind of flying by. It can it look like almost like wide out conditions at times, even with some light snowfall because it's so windy. But of course, that's what our first alert weather day is focused on what it feels like for you. It's already dangerously cold and feels even colder. Wind chills right now range from right at to zero single digits far east, but below zero for most of our area, even eight below zero in Knoxville to 22 below zero in Crossville. And that's now we're not done. And we still got to cool a little bit more this morning. We're going to keep these winds around all day, so at times they're just stronger, ranging from about 15 to even some 30 plus mile per hour gusts all day long, adding up in the feels like forecast where you live to negative one in Knoxville this afternoon to one in Athens, to zero in Lenore City, to two below zero in Clinton, even 12 below zero in Crossville. This afternoon's what it'll feel like. Nine below zero in La Follette, negative 11 in Middlesbrough, to negative four in Morristown. For your Friday afternoon, negative nine in Gatlinburg. But again, this is just the start of your first alert weather day. I'll walk you through the rest of it coming up here in a moment. Heather, thanks. Getting a look at your first alert traffic. These dangerous temperatures mean possibly dangerous conditions on the roadway. Icy roads, you want to stay home this morning if you can. Give TDOT all the time they need to make sure they're treating these roadways so you can get to where you're going if you need to. Right now, we're seeing significant delays on 75 in Whitley County, Kentucky. Even some slowdowns in Campbell County. Again, stay home if you can. Use extreme caution on those roadways. A reminder, if you are heading out for holiday travel later on today, this bridge replacement project continues in North Carolina on I-40. Just one lane of travel is open in each direction. Could slow you down. Take I-81 or I-26 instead. Right now, the roads you were driving on should be pre-treated. TDOT crews were out yesterday morning and last night brining the roads with salt ahead of today's busy travel day. Officials tell us they have plenty of supply ahead of this year's winter weather and they are able to send trucks to areas where it is needed. It's important to check in on your loved ones today, especially and anyone you know who's at risk during these dangerous temperatures. The city of Knoxville is partnering with the Salvation Army and the county, putting up a large warming tent at the Salvation Army. Now, this is located on 409 North Broadway. The tent is lit and heated. The doors will be open until Tuesday morning. Knoxville Area Rescue Ministries is also opening up its warming shelters also on North Broadway. Nationwide heavy snow and strong winds have created chaos in the Midwest with the Northeast bracing for Friday's impact. Already thousands of flights have been canceled or delayed, disrupting travel plans just two days before Christmas. Even after the storm passes, the severe cold freezing throughout much of the country could slow down the airline's recovery plans for days. Right now, the suspect in the deadly shooting behind the Rural King in North Knox County is in custody this morning. Police arrested 18 year old Larry McBee just after 330 after a days long manhunt. Officers say McBee shot and killed a store employee yesterday after trying to steal ammunition. He is facing second degree murder charges. Sheriff Tom Spangler says he could face more as the investigation continues. And right now, police in Granger County are investigating a deadly shooting involving a father and son. Deputies were called to a home on Indian Creek Road where they found 41 year old Joseph Hammond dead from a gunshot. Evidence from the scene revealed that Hammond was in an altercation with his father, Rick, and was shot. Both Granger County and the TBI are investigating. Law enforcement in Sevier County are looking for the people who stole more than $50,000 of equipment from Climeworks in Gatlinburg. The company shared this video of the suspected thieves. The Sevier County Sheriff says a stolen skid loader and trailer have been recovered, but another trailer is still missing. If you have any information or recognize the people in the video, contact police. A dog is dead following a house fire in North Knox County. Rural Metro says this happened on the 3500 block of Rothmore Drive. No one was home at the time, but one of the property owners did go to the hospital. The house is destroyed. Investigators are working to figure out how it started. And this morning, we're remembering a fallen East Tennessee Marine who died in the line of duty. Staff Sergeant Samuel D. Lecce was from the Jefferson area. The Department of Defense says he died in a non-combat related incident in Iraq while supporting Operation Inherent Resolve. The operation is a joint task force which it helps our part partner forces defeat ISIS, according to its website. Lecce was assigned to the 3rd Marine Raider Battalion at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. The incident is still under investigation. 
Cherokee National Forest is announcing plans to replace the Bald River Falls Bridge in Teleco Plains. Work will begin in the spring, which means Teleco River Road will be closed in that area. There will be a detour around the construction. The bridge is almost 90 years old. It isn't safe enough for how much traffic it sees. New details this morning. The House Select Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol is releasing its final report after 18 months of investigating. The report says former President Donald Trump criminally engaged in a multi-part conspiracy to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. It also says he failed to act to stop his supporters from attacking the Capitol. Trump maintains he did nothing wrong on January 6th and has repeatedly called the committee's investigation a witch hunt. We have a recall alert for you this morning. Target is recalling more than 200,000 weighted blankets for kids. The problem is children can get trapped inside the blanket if they unzip the cover. Target has received four reports of it happening. Two of the kids died. The blankets were on Target's shelf from December of 2018 until September of this year. Anyone who bought one can return it for a refund. 655 now. All right, let's talk more about the rest of this first alert because obviously right now if you're just stepping out the door, if you have to, it's nine in Knoxville, eight in Sneedville, one below zero in Crossville. Again, those are the air temperatures. It's still 21 in Newport to Greenville because that air is still blowing in. These last couple of light snow showers are still blowing out. Some clearing like we can see here in West Knoxville, kind of a mix of some clear sky and passing clouds, which is why a couple of flurries at best can fly because not only have the temperatures dropped, Remember, it dries out the air. It is too cold to snow at a certain point. And that's what we're at right now. We continue with these westerly winds, making it feel colder. Those gusts at 30 plus miles per hour. Basically going to hang out. We are at 9 right on track to our forecast. We'll hang out around 10 through midday, 14 this afternoon, 10 this evening. Right, It's not getting better yet. 6 tonight, those winds continue. It feels like below zero through tomorrow morning. Now, tomorrow afternoon, clouds break up and winds gradually decrease. So we'll be at 24 in the afternoon and it'll start to feel more like the teens. I don't know, it's not great, but it's better. So that's where we end our first alert weather day. Christmas stays below freezing, but at least it's calmer and clearer. And yes, next week we even have a warm up. So we'll continue to monitor those conditions, especially because we're getting more reports of some of the power lines down. Right. We're going to have more on that coming up on the CW. Yeah, now is the time to check on those people, pipes and pets. Use yes. caution. We do want to leave you with a live look in downtown Knoxville as crews are repairing some down power lines. We're headed over to the CW.